So, this is one reason that I typically don't do like the one-off quests unless they're like the live weekly update that I don't even know necessarily are going to be one-off quests depending on how things shake out. It's a lot of times because these ones that are just their own little isolated incidents are like three or four screens too long for my tastes as far as thing. Or sometimes the enemies are, are unnaturally difficult. There was this one main storyline quest that came out towards the beginning of the year. The, like, towards the beginning of this year in the main storyline as it is now. There was this one quest that came out and it was like... I don't know. The henchmen, or the little schmucks that you fight along the way, progressively got more hard. Like, they weren't that bad to begin with, but eventually I needed to like take allies with me and like actual effective allies too not so Anno here it was it, I think they fixed it it was also this long unskippable cutscene <laughs> that I had to watch every time I got killed it was a little an unskippable cutscene that came in like two sections too <laughs> so that kind of sucked because that one that one thrashed me for like a week until I think they started rebalancing it once they got the uh, next week's release handled. Oh, I'm almost out of mana. Oh, maybe I should have not wasted the little bit. There, whatever. I was like, what, 16? That would have been one more stun, basically. But yeah, a lot of times it'll. Now nah, that was that was one of the rare occasions that I felt like a main story quest was dragging on. A lot of times I feel like those are pretty well paced. They uh, they manage to keep enough interesting. They introduce enough interesting things that happen. In well now. Now nah, most of the main story ones, I should say, uh, well. Even like with the orb quest we'll get to later, a lot of times it'll feel like at least you're exploring an area instead of just running through a path. Rather than, this is just one linear thing. And while yeah, a lot of times they can be linear, those ones don't seem to, oh, please don't hit Tangle, don't seem to overstay their welcome the same way. Like. Around the time that I'm like, hmm, I want to see the characters I've been interacting with. I want to see what happens next again. Is around the time that it finishes, rather than I've I've wanted this quest to be done since the witch. <laughs> now, that, that might have been because I thought it was going to be done. To be fair, I was pleasantly surprised that it was going to be shorter. But. I think this is this gotta be like one of the last screens. That looks like the something. Why? And this isn't gonna take both of them off the screen either, is it? I would have been eternally grateful if that would have killed it. Whatever. My combo attack will kill it and kill the other one. So, the polar opposite of a paladin, would that be a killadin? Because it's not your pal. Oh, I missed. Are you see? Ha! I still killed you. Didn't even need Anno's help. Can I go above you? Please let me sneak by. Ha! Suck it. 
Oh, thank God. All right. Excuse me, Sir Wizard. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Maybe he's off getting his hair and nails done. Look at all this stuff. Stuffed. Stuffed bird on a stick. Potion bottles. Crystal ball. I wouldn't touch his stuff. Magic does funny things to ordinary objects. Have I ever told you about Cicero's laundry? Oh, yeah. His laundry. Did, did that curtain just move? Oh, his knees are shaking, but he's gonna... He's gonna stand his ground. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> he just straight up fainted. What a silly goose. Uh, I was looking for you, or a note, a note from you saying when you'd be back. Why would I? <laughs> no need to yell right now. Uh, now that I'm right, Marvel. <laughs> nice. Why would I be behind a curtain? Uh. I hope you haven't frightened Winky, my gnome. He naps behind the curtain. Where were you? In the back, working on a way for ordinary people to fly without magic or magical creatures? See, the premise is very simple, really. I'm sure, but I'm... I'm sure, I'm sure it's fascinating, honest. But my friend here, your wisdom and uh, wonderfulness is widely known. I wanted to ask if you could tell me about my future and what is in store for me. I'm afraid I'll never be able to be a real hero and do all the noble and brave things a hero is supposed to do. A hero is not a hero because he is noble and brave. A hero is a hero because he's famous and people fear what he can do. Just get yourself a skilled public relations minion and you'll be set. That doesn't sound quite right. Oh my. Oh, do forgive me. I've confused the speech with advising aspiring villains with one of the idealistic young heroes. You give pep talks to bad guys, too? Hey, man, whatever pays the bills. <laughs> a wizard's gotta pay rent, too, you know. See? And villains pay really well when you stroke their egos. Right. Psst. I don't think he's what you're looking for in an advisor, Anno. Or, yeah, thanks for your help, I guess, Sir Wizard. I think we're gonna get going now, though. Are you sure you don't want to stay? I could finish my experiment. Explaining my experiment to you. Why is that hyphenate experiment? Uh, was he supposed to be saying something else? I don't know. Whatever. You could take it for a test flight. I'm sure it's ready. Or, no, that's alright. We need to be getting back to the keep. I'm sure we've been missed by now. I'll just be get And I miss it. The jousting. The jesting. In the most unstable outhouse in the realm. <laughs> really? When you think about it, there's no place like Oaklor. What is up? Why? Do you hear something now that you mention it? Why are there two of him? Is that Serenity's Inn? Ow. Bordrakes and apple trees and Yaga's oh my. Plated silver rapier. I bet this one's a dragon amulet too. Yep. Oh, it's not. It looks pretty. St oh man, that looks really snazzy. I wish you could show the things. Oh, I guess it is a dragon amulet weapon. Why well, doesn't have it in the background though? That's weird. Whatever. I'll probably sell that one. Alright. Victoria's Secret. Interesting. The king is coming for a visit. This is my chance. But before I can worry about that, there's something I need your help taking care of. Captain Roloth himself has asked me to deal with a group of bandits with it, which is camped out in the middle of a swamp a ways away. He says it shouldn't be any problem for someone of my skills. I, uh, haven't mentioned that you've been helping me. But I will, I promise. In fact, if, when, I get presented to the king, 
I'll tell him all about you then. You've taught me so much already, but will you help me this one last time? Oh, bandits, good old bandits. Renegade Scout. Beating these dudes up in the forest isn't so bad. Gonna go on two and a half hours for this recording session. Oh my god. All because I wanted to explore the town first. And then I was like, eh, gotta do something worthwhile too. Blah, 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 blah. Stupid. Oh, no, you got stupid. Edit your audio. Take a million years. Stupid. It's also super late. I should have cut off. I should have cut off at two of these. Or just waited. Whatever. Oh, I did not want to kick him. Okay, maybe I did. That was a solid hit. Had some that had some sting on it. Sweet Jesus. Can I go down? No? Pop? What the? What was that? Why is is that like a geyser? Weird. Whatever. Why is there a dude with no mask and a red bandana? Rugen? Rugen? I don't know what I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. I missed. Dodge dodge. Oh, this guy might hit hard. That's mildly upsetting that I didn't kill him then. Ow! Ow! 80 damage, not a fan. Not dead yet, unfortunately. And then we dropped down to 204, or 214. Right here. Ouch. That sucks. See, certain levels you get this annoying, like, uh, damage to health ratio for your the health that you have compared to the health that compared to the damage that your enemies are dishing out and it sucks because you don't unless you like stun them or whatever which maybe I should have done after I killed the first guy but like they're weak enough to where you can kill them if you stun them and take care of them quick enough but if they hit you first, you're gonna be screwed if you let it go on too long. V O G. Oh, V O U G. Oh. Vermin of unusual growth. That is fantastic. I definitely didn't get that when I was younger either. Little Princess Bride shout out. Nice. 41. It's not too shabby. One more. Give it a little throw. There we go. Oh, he's not dead. I was really hoping that would be it. Okay, good. I was going to be a slight bit indignant if I didn't kill him. I'm just going to ignore this guy if I can go the other way. I can. And there's a health pad. Why can't I go down? 
Let me go down to the health pad. There we go. And I'm going to walk right by him if I can. So, I'm going to try and kill this guy first again. Just because he hits a little harder. Alright, Sir Anno. Double hit combo, don't let me down. Yes! Didn't even need the second hit. Dink. Alright, so maybe those are... I thought that was supposed to, I thought Rugen was like just a random different class of bandit. As opposed to... Whatever. I guess it was a name. Because that dude. Because I don't think Dink is a name for a type of bandit. Or a bandit like rank within their band. Their group. Let me sit there and perch on my. There we go. Oh, this one wasn't that bad. Assuming that this boss fight doesn't take assuming this is another halfway boss fight halt mumble po huh excuse me surly harry surly and po <laughs> nice he said we'll make it so your own mother couldn't identify you oh thank you anyways we're supposed to be here we're on a mission that's what we were sent to hey you the skinny one with the big nose Harry doesn't like the ways. Oh, Harry, doesn't he look like Wesley? Wesley? Like. Oh, oh, like Wesley from. What? Okay, I don't know who they're talking about. I thought that was another reference, but I'm like, no, Wesley was a blonde. The one, no, yes, you numbskull, the, the adventurer that helps them bandits over near the Limcrest. Ooh, right, Wesley. You are Wesley, ain't you? Why, yes, yes I am. This can't have been part of your plan. Whispers, nope. But who says I can't think fast? Carpe opportunus. What did you say? Nothing, just sneezing. Both of us. <laughs> Gesundheit, mumble. Thank you. I've come from a message with from a fellow chief. He wants me to give your give it to your leader in person. It's very important. Full of plottings and deviousness and bandity goodness. And you best get moving to camp, follow the path that way. See it in the hill over there. Oh and watch out for the chief. He and Fezwig. <laughs> oh look at that giant oaf. That, are we gonna get to meet an Inigo? I will be so happy. They got into a brawl and Fezzik knocked him out. <laughs> Fezwig knocked him out. Him about the head. It might be a little, he might be a bit muddled. I thought we were done. Right. Halfway to halfway cutscenes teasing me again. Oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna have to switch back to my dagger for that next monster. Or my regular dagger, I should say. So I guess they were still. I guess the whole West B thing was still a Princess Bride reference, even though Anno does not look like Wesley at all. <laughs> nice. Daver. All right, so I can't. He's not completely impervious to fire, but you know, <laughs> I don't want to play these reindeer games. All right. God, 
Why do giant moths, well not giant, but relatively large moths, love to fly into my room? I hate it. Um, get a mano. It is like to fly around and run into stuff. It's super annoying. Because they're like big and stupid enough to where they just kind of hit the wall. <laughs> 